it be now? In 1978, I was at uni in Queensland and formed a band with a fellow student who shared my passion... Hello, Alan. Right, McLennan. No, I can't give that to you, I'm afraid. Who shared my passion for movies, but good, you're in early, and the US punk scene. We pressed 500 copies of our first recording. Hey, Cooper. <laughs> no, but keep going. And nearly signed to Berserkly Records in the US. Or, here's a tip, wait a little bit and you might find out more. <laughs> Rough Trade eventually released Send Me a Lullaby in Europe, so we moved to London and scored supports for the birthday party, amongst others. Robert Forster? Are you some kind of genius? Please make him welcome, Robert Forster! I lived in seclusion for a couple of years. In a German farmhouse, just drinking beer. Every morning I'd wake up with a smile from ear to ear. I had one contact to the outside world. A phone in London and a seasick girl. I knew what was happening, but only in my part of the world. I knew what was happening. Roxy Music. Roxy Music? Where? Um, Brisbane, Festival Hall. Oh. 1973 or 4. Did it blow you away? Yeah, it was a fantastic show. Oh, fantastic.